This is Resident Evil Village. Yeah. Here, Eric, you see it. I see it. The people at home see it. Yep, they It's do. on the screen. Uh-huh. It doesn't really need an intro. No, uh, it doesn't. Uh, you're you're Eric. Uh, yeah. And you're, yeah. You're Chris. I'm Chris. Yep. And you know you know us. And we're gonna play the game. You know this game. You know us. We like you know... we we like the game. Yeah. I like the game. It's a good game. Now you didn't actually play most of it. Yeah. Would I've... you like to play it now? Would you uh... like to play it on its hardest difficulty? <laughs> I played the Mercenaries just a minute ago. That was pretty fun. Um, Because what we need to do is we need to beat the game for the third time. You can see we beat it right here on the standard difficulty. Sure. It took uh, eight and a half hours. Nice, yeah. Then we beat it again on the hard difficulty. It took seven hours. Nice. Now we're going to beat it, hopefully, on the hardest difficulty. In much less time. Oh, no, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, no. No. Everything about this is bad. We're off to a horrible fifth start. Stop. Stop loading. Stop it. It's not gonna stop until it's done. Everything about us sucks. Yeah. <laughs> this has gone poorly. Are we gonna start no, over? No, no, it's the end of the game. Again, again? It's the end of the game. Sup, Duke? Sup, buddy? Get out of here. <sighs> Thanks for making that great mayonnaise. Yep. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know what's interesting. What's that? Um, is that the very first video that we ever did a let's play of was Resident Evil Seven. Was the demo for Resident, Resident, Evil, 7. For Resident Evil Seven? And there was like, uh, and we shit all over it. There was like, there was like eight people, um, in in a very small room, all around a very shitty microphone. Yeah. And you couldn't hear half of them. Yeah. Um, and we were playing it uh, on a computer screen during the daytime with the computer as far away as it could possibly be from anybody's eye line. Yep. And so none of us really enjoyed that demo for Resident yeah. Evil 7. We had a bad experience. And I'll be honest, I waited a really long time before I ever decided to actually try and play Resident Evil 7. Yeah. And I didn't like it when I did try and play it. Yeah. And it's kind of because of what we were talking about earlier. And that's, I don't like, uh, or I don't find rednecks in Louisiana scary. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and that was everybody's... You lived in Louisiana. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and continue to live in Georgia. Exactly. And so the idea of, like, creepy swamp people, that's just every day. Yeah, like, that's just people we run into at fucking Walmart. It, well, it's a good reason to not go to Walmart. That is definitely <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so this is an interesting intro here. Mm -hmm. I did not like it at all when I first started the game. Right. Like, I thought that this was weird and it was tonally, like, inconsistent. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, which is a hard thing to do, considering I hadn't actually played the game yet, so it was its first introduction of tone. But from everything that I've seen and every, it did not feel like it belonged. But then, in retrospect, uh, after beating the game... Sure. I do really like this, and I think it has, uh, it does a really good job of, like, showing you all of the things you're going to see without actually showing it to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, I mean, even down to, like, you see all the little gold threads here, and you spend the entire game, like, it, they, Resident Evil very clearly uses the color yellow to, like, guide the player mm -hmm. and to tell them where to go next and stuff. And yeah. so it's it's really interesting. Um, and you're also just chasing threads every fucking which way. Yes. Well, it, there, what is Resident Evil if, but if not chasing fucking threads? If not a menagerie of plot threads that have just been thrown at the wall like uh, uncooked spaghetti. And there's Moreau, poor guy. Mm. Even even to that little golden fish, that's the phantom fish. You find a picture and it says photo of a phantom fish, and then you must find the phantom fish, and then if you kill it you will get the finest fish meat. And then you can give that finest fish meat to the Duke. And he will slather it in his mayonnaise. I do love the Duke. The I Duke think is he great. is one of the best characters that Resident Evil has made yeah. in a really he's, long time. He's become the internet darling. You know, he's he's toppled Lady Dimitrescu. Isn't that neat to see? Yeah. Um, that, like, before the game came out, everybody's just all... And I think... Uh, Everybody was horny for Lady Dom DeLuise. And, uh, <laughs> you know... Now they're all about Chonky Boy Duke. I think that that is a very strange way to phrase those names. Um, it, I th it's interesting because they did not show very much of this game in the marketing. 
Like, no. It was all Lady it Domo was all, Arigato. It was all Lady Dimitrescu and all of, like, the castle stuff. Yeah. And every now and then it would show you, like, oh, and also here's Mother Miranda. And they showed you that one image, I think, that was Mother Miranda and the Four Lords, but they didn't give you, like, background yeah. on anybody besides the tall lady. Yeah. But then, like, you know, she's gone an hour and a half, yeah, two hours not, into the, the game. The castle's not a big part of the game. Which is a shame because it's beautiful. It like, really it, is. It's a fantastic See, location. I, I was under the impression, like I'm sure a lot of people were, that the majority we of the game to it. would be in the fucking castle and the objective is to escape the fucking castle. Well, I thought that um, it was interesting that the game was called Resident Evil Village where we do spend so little time in the like from before it came out. When it shows you the marketing, it very much seemed like there's the village, and then there's the castle, and you'll go back and forth between mm -hmm. the two, and that's it. Resident Evil Castle just doesn't have the same ring to it. Well, yeah, and you can't fit You those, can't put um, the, the Roman numerals in it. Yeah. Although village seems like kind of a cop-out. They could have used at any point. Right. Um, oh, here we go. We're going to get to play. All right. Are we going to kick the ball yeah, into the study? Yeah. As per the challenges that we have not yet finished, we have to kick the ball into the study. And this is our this is our baby, Rose. I can't wait to see the prequel of this game where, uh, where Ethan and Mia pick baby wipes. Oh yeah, let's go look <laughs> at the baby wipes. We're so discerning. Like this really bothered me. And, like examine the baby wipes. Took forever, Took forever to pick these out. Like really? They're just fucking wipes. I'm pretty sure those are the same brand of wipes that I have in Ben's yeah, room right now. Yeah. Like, the package is more oh, green, the but yeah, on. the the the, the idea is the same. You're watching a uh, Peppa Pig. Is that what this is? Have you heard that a lot of like American kids are growing up with British accents because of Peppa Pig? Like, I have not heard yeah, that. Yeah, they're de they're developing and growing with British accents. Well, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, how a lot of kids' first word is Alexa. Yeah, that's a thing too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting you. I feel like you are. I w no, I'm I'm being sincere. I know look, it's how, very, look, how, look how fucking fat me is in this picture. <laughs> God. Yeah, well, have what you, a dumb have you woman let Have you looked go. at fucking Rose? She's fucking massive. <laughs> That's the biggest six-month-old baby I've ever fucking seen. That's got to be a record. Here, here, I, I love this because we, we're still we're trying to do the thing where we have um, like framed photos yeah. of the family, yeah. but we can't show Ethan's face. No, not at all. Because that's the whole point of the yeah. game. And, and so we've got this framed photo. It's like, oh, how beautiful of them not looking at the camera. This is like, you, you kind of, if you do get to see Ethan's face, it's he's basically like a mushroom person from fucking Last of Us. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he's a fucking clicker. I don't know what you got here. Because, spoiler you alert. CDs. Your taste in music's improved, huh? What you got? Miss D and the Paul Boys. We well, got some jazz. He's a jazz it man. Ju it just says jazz. It just <laughs> <laughs> and then something greatest hits. Oh uh, yeah, and then another saxophone. He does like jazz. Oh, that, there's just three different jazz things right there. <sighs> Ethan and Mia do seem like the time type of white people who would buy best ofs. Now this is a little bit of a spoiler, mm. but look at the fucking amount of wine in this kitchen. Those are big fucking We've bottles. We've got three of bottles wine. there. We've the, got one here. Those are DJ Khaled size bottles. We've got another of wine. over here. We've got two more over here. And we've got three more Fuck. here. Fuck! And then he's just like, oh, once you're a big girl, we can have some of this. Like, man, is is Mia just one of those wine moms? Like that episode of The Simpsons where Marge, uh, they moved they moved to that house, and the house cleaned itself, and she didn't have anything to do, so she just started drinking wine. And Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling. Well, then why do you keep why buying do you, it? Do you make your own labels, too? Because that's cool. Probably makes that wine by hand too. Yeah. Anyway, so the wine thing is probably like a subtle little um, like hint. Yeah. Uh, also, look, two more over here. Wow. And they only—I noticed they only have one normal-sized bottle of wine. Oh, that one? Yeah. I don't know. And look at how many bags of flour are out. Where is that? Oh, there's one there. There's one. Okay. And there's one. Oh, there's right another there. flour there. Yeah. Yeah. That's just two. And mm, it's, it's still oh, it's a baby bottle. More than should be out. No. You should put that in the fridge or something, then. It's gonna go stale. It is gonna... Yeah, and there's no sense of wasting formula, because that shit is expensive. We never really did the formula thing. Yeah. Well, um, I, I mean, I imagine they do in that house, because would you would you really drink, well, here, here's drink the, milk from Mia's teat? Here's the question, though. Like, uh... Alright, so... 
we're, we're going to get into some spoilers for Resident Evil here, so I do want, like, even though this is just kind of the beginning of the game and we're kind of dicking around, I want to talk about some in-game stuff. Yeah, it's been out, what? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. That's that's so, forever on internet time. So yeah, it is. It's, I just it's wanna on give, you. I just want to give a warning. Um, but so anyway, yeah, so this is clearly not Mia. This is Mother Miranda impersonating Mia. Yes. Um, as we'll find out shortly when... Which could have been the case during all of the events of Seven. Yes. Um, as per my, uh, I'm not sure why uh, her driver's license has blue eyes, but her eyes are brown theory. In the very beginning of Resident Evil 7, um, just to do a quick recap, there you find Mia's driver's license on the ground, uh, or in her purse, but it's like outside of the Baker house. And on that driver's license it says Mia's eyes are blue. And then every time you see her in either game, no matter what, uh, her eyes are very clearly brown and so hey go hey ole, ole 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 oh there's a monkey there's two monkeys hey, the, hey, uh, you want you want to play with the monkey I see, oh, hey there little rose sweet see honestly it's surprising that monkey doesn't bite ethan's finger off <laughs> whenever ethan picks anything up it's just it's a terrifying thing you know that part in when you're uh, fighting Moreau and you have to like reach into the the really nasty swampy looking oh, one. Yeah, yeah. That part's so gross. Ugh. Anyway, so this says she doesn't have a fungus, which is a uh, probably a lie. Probably a lie. I think all a lot of these documents have been forged by Chris and the the, the was it the BSAA. Now this is a diary <laughs> that uh, Ethan wrote about him and Mia having a fight. And it's, uh, it kind of gives a little bit of hints that maybe Mia isn't who she says she is. Yeah. Um, I mean, trauma can do, like, weird things to people. And it's true. And she's clearly on a bunch of medication, like, yeah. from we, what we saw in the bathroom. But, like, in none of these pictures does she have uh, blue eyes. A very hazel-eyed woman. Yeah. You and, look at the ultrasound pictures and it's like a fucking, just a mushroom. <laughs> it's just like a moral just sitting there. Um, and, uh... Yeah, the other the other spoilery thing that happens towards the end of the game is that you find out that Ethan is dead. Yeah, he died has, at the beginning of seven. Has been dead for two games now. Jack killed him. And which makes a lot of sense, you know, because of what happened in seven. Like he was just an average dude. He was no no training or fucking anything. Like well, not only that, but he somehow was like had his hand cut off and then he was able to staple it back together exactly. and that was fine. So I'm not gonna fold those. Just gonna. Why bother? They're just gonna get fucking wrinkled. What's going on with this here? Why is this uh, mirror covered up? Yeah, right. What? What's the deal with that? Oh, oh so uh, we need so to take Rose to the mold room. It's covered up, so you uh, you can't so tell you can't that see Mother Ethan, Miranda's a vampire. So you can't see Ethan's face. Oh goddamn it! You're right. <laughs> you're right. Well, what about here? There's a bathroom over here. Is that is one it, covered? Is there, is there a mirror? That it's uh, fogged up. It's, it's just obscured. Not, it's just not a mirror. It's an HD TV. Yeah. <laughs> see, Mia's on medicine. You wanna you wanna go to sleep? You're, are you gonna? Is yeah, that the baby's crib? Put, put is the, the baby toilet? in the toilet? Put the baby in the toilet. Put it in here. And wash all that mold off. <laughs> we, uh, we we need to take uh, we need to take her to the nasty room. Yeah, yeah, the nasty room. Make sure the, she gets a good inhalation room. of all the Lad fumes. Ladder. Why the fuck do you keep that bobblehead around, Ethan? This is weird, Ethan. Yeah. When we see Rose's house in the in Resident Evil Nine, she's gonna have like a little wooden goat bobblehead. Yeah. I don't know why I keep this around. Just reminds me of the better days, I guess. I feel like it would have been better had they made that bobblehead like one of the little Mister Raccoons from Resistance, just to have a little tie-in. That would be neat. Yeah. yeah. Or um, what was the thing you had to find in Resident Evil Three Remake? The I think it was also a bottle. I think head? it was the. I think it was also the Mr. Raccoons. That was the time because um, that came in a bundle with Resistance. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be way better. Yeah, I think so. But you have to remember that they don't want you to think about Resident Evil. Re oh, hold on. We have to look at the. Uh, this comes up later. This is important. Oh, the music box. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Your mom and I love this very generic song so much. Because you know, because we're generic white people who buy best ofs. See, this is probably the best the, the best look you get at Ethan's face, and it's this little plasticky figure yeah. right here. Yeah, it's not Gen even... Generic husband man. Yeah. <laughs> One of the worst G.I. Joes, worst selling G.I. Joes. Yeah. <laughs> generic husband man. Alright, I guess we're going to drop this baby off. Yeah. 
Uh, yep, put Sean in the bed. Well, later. next time we see you, little lady, you'll be in parts. <laughs> it's so creepy looking. Uh, it, it, it really is it, a creepy it, baby. It's, it's got like old man hands. Yeah, is that what it is? Like it looks more like a little person than it does a baby. It does look like a dwarf. You are correct. It, it looks like a, it, a dwarf. I don't know if it's the head size or like the the lumpiness. Yeah. yeah. Let's go and looks. How big is that diaper? Like, that diaper clearly needs to be changed. Look how those pants are ballooning. Mm -hmm. Th things you notice when you're a parent. Yeah. Jeez. Change your kid, Ethan. Change your kid. For God. fuck's sake. I know bad things happen to your hands, but... <laughs> you could still use them. Just All pour right. Just pour some fucking Robitussin on them. I don't think there are any other challenges in the house besides the ball one. The yeah, one we the definitely one need to one. try to do is open every outhouse door in the village and break all the windows yeah. in the castle. So I guess we can uh, we can move this plot along. Are, are you or someone you know uh, a fungus person? <laughs> Symptoms include loving elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending that you're eating food when really you're not. Yeah, you're not gaining any sustenance from this at all. When was the last time you had a bowel movement, Mr. Winters? <laughs> What's a bowel? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, there's your normal bottle of wine. We're going to go through that one quick. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it all happened so fast, almost as though it were planned. Everything's going to be bullet. Badoosh. It's like, how do you... It's... Here's what kills me about this, too. Okay. It's just like... Here's how fucking dumb Ethan is. Oh, yeah. One bullet... Uh -huh. She's fucking still standing. She just fucking looks. She, he doesn't what? think something's wrong with this. What? <laughs> and then she's still, still good. And still then good. He says, "Mia, get down," and she doesn't get down. <laughs> Something is amiss here, Ethan. I know you have a fucking mushroom for a brain, <laughs> but goddamn it, man. <laughs> Ethan is. On one hand, one of the most enjoyable protagonists to play. Mm -hmm. Because he's so bland. Yeah. like it, it, He's right of, up there with fucking Ryu. He, yeah. yeah. He kind of has the, like, le Like, that took way too many pull. Far too many. Um, but but here, right here, he, Chris could just be like, that's not me. That's not Mia. Just say it. Yeah, Mia's in this village. It's You're like, no, instead we're going to pretend. We have to cut your daughter into parts. Yeah. I, I, I think that would have been what set Ethan over the edge. That's the part you omit from the story. Well, I don't think they cut her into parts. They have Rose. They have, a, they have like, a, a, a normal Rose. Right. Um, well, and, then how did see, they... Rose is fine there. Did they ever explain how they lost <clears throat> Rose along the way, then? Yeah, Mother Miranda comes to oh, life yeah, the... in... She, she comes back that in makes, the transport. That makes sense. Takes Rose and, and blows everything up. And that makes sense. Um, and then I imagine that she just, like, took Rose and separated it like King Solomon and handed one to each of the lords. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? It's just like, you all want this baby. And I will please everyone. <laughs> you get a baby, you get a baby, you get a baby, you get a baby. Um, that was just stupid it, on Chris's part, which is rare. Oh, sure. Considering <laughs> stupid on Chris's part is rare. He's still a Resident Evil character. Yeah, no shit. Like, <laughs> like, to be fair, he's not like Leon levels of stupid. Um, like, Chris still is professional. Yeah. Leon rivals Ethan, Ethan sometimes in like the stupid things that he says in situations. Where, like, there's that scene in um, Resident Evil 4 where you find, uh, like, he finds a security monitor. And he sees, like, two of the Lost Plagas with Ashley. And it looks like they're about to rape her. Do you remember this scene? Oh, yeah, yeah. A and, like, he looks at them and they're, like, grr, grr, grr. And then Ashley, like, throws something at them. And then the lo one of the Lost Plagas guys, like, hits the other one on the shoulder and then points up at the security camera that Leon's watching them on. Okay? <laughs> and then they look at each other, and then they turn off the security camera, and then Leon's just like, huh, amateurs. <laughs> Where it's like, what, what the fuck do you mean? Where the fuck does this fucking come from? It's like, oh, they, they should have disconnected the camera it, first clear, clear before the, the sexual assault. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking rookies. 
<laughs> they've clearly, I'd have done that way better. They've never done time before, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's just like... Uh, well, still got a hand. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like he just wakes up <laughs> in the middle of a fucking nightmare. He's like, huh! And he just looks at his hand. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh still, thank God. Oh, still there. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. good. Um... <laughs> No, what I wanted to say a little while ago is that you brought up a uh, resistance. Yeah, and I think that maybe one of the reasons why they didn't use the bobbleheads from Resistance is because they're trying to make people forget it existed, so that they'll buy Reverse. Oh, sure. Remember Resident yeah. Evil Reverse, which yeah. was supposed to ship with this game yep. and yep. did not. Did not, and is still kind of like in the ether. <laughs> Theoretically, anyone who owns this game will get it for free, yeah. I think, yeah. uh, eventually, when it comes out, if it does. I just don't think Resident Evil is really, like, built for multiplayer. Should we, um... Yeah, that was one of the big downfalls of 6, is that its multiplayer thing was, like, kind of, eh, and then the, the, the Wesker kid, he was, like, bland, generic, white protagonist, dumbass. I don't like Winters' Winters move the two Winters yeah. to site C. Winters that's where the uh, that's where the dinosaurs are. <laughs> Who wrote this fucking golem? Trickens the Winters. I find the Winters. We must have the Winters. <laughs> you know, honestly, like if if they would have had one more like area section in this game, that would have been what it was. Yeah. Like it was some sort of weird little <laughs> creepy monster. Ah, even Winters I've been waiting for you. It's the opposite of Mor Mordeaux. You know, Mor is it Moreau or Mordeaux? It's, it's Moreau, it's as Moreau. in the island of... Yeah, it's weird how not Lady Dimitrescu, but everyone else seems to be like... You've got Ben Viento, you've got Moreau, you've got Heisenberg. Yeah, that was another thing. This game is clearly set in, in like Eastern Europe, but no, it's no, not, no, it's, it's not Europe. It's Europe, it's Europe in general, mark. but yeah. it's not sure what part of fucking Europe it wants to be. Yeah, it's the same one that fucking the Resident Evil uh, Four was set in, where yeah. like everyone speaks Mexican Spanish, and yet there's Gothic architecture. <laughs> it's it, it's Capcom's generic Europe land, where all their European stories take place. Should we boot up your PlayStation and see how long it takes us to get into a oh, game we tried of Resident Evil Resistance? Didn't we do that? We, tri we tried that. Uh, I can't remember what video it was, but uh, what was it? Uh, it was like 40-something 40 40 minutes. 40 minutes before we can get into a... Actually, we never no, got into a No, we never, we got, never we, got into no, a No one's playing We Resident just Evil fucking Resistance gave up. Anymore. Which is sad, because I kind of liked that It game. was enjoyable. I liked it. But that, again... It's poor bird. I wish I had my knife so I could like cut it cut free. Cut it down, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. It'll all be over soon. Yeah. You know, you're a bird. Just fly up and perch yourself so that you're, like, not getting fucking leg strangled. That's true. That would also be a good idea. Yeah. But, you know, what does Ethan know? He has a fucking mushroom for a brain. Now, this part's weird because it's, like, nighttime now. Yeah. And I'm going to go into a building and then come out of the building and it's not going to be nighttime anymore. And I've seen it happen twice now, and it's weird both just, times. Man, suspension of disbelief. We have a fucking walking fungus man, and your oh. wife just took infinity goddamn bullets and didn't fucking keel over, and you've got an old man dwarf baby. Just I would like just, my guns back, please. You gotta let some shit slide. <laughs> oh, remember when Ethan had those fingers? I d yeah, all of them. Okay, hold on. This is gonna be get stuff area, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's, we got, that's important. What do we got in here? Rope. Rope. And nothing else. Oh, I think else. this is where the knife is. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I, since this is a new game this plus. Is, yeah, you don't, you don't get shit. Okay. You turn the knob and literally nothing happens. Well, it was dripping and I stopped it from dripping. Oh, okay. God, I didn't notice Get your head out of your ass, Eric. It's safe oh, up there. Somebody's uh, doing heroin? No, no, that's a nasal spray. Yeah, but look, they've got a spoon and... on a plate, and it looks like they were crushing <laughs> these up. And and then they dripped them in. Nah, someone's shooting up in here. I have to eat my my morning ritual food of uh, Captain Percocet. My that's... baby takes the morning train. Yeah, yeah, that's the song you sing when you do Percocet. Works from nine. To... It's a good song. Yeah. Five and then... I don't know why it suddenly jumped into my head. Yeah. But something well, about like doing drugs and then that song, sure, just just feels right. Sure. Hello, 
I mean... Hello. What makes a train ride way more tolerable? See, you have brown eyes. Drugs. It's true. Oh, you got an owl? Owl and a fox. Owl and a fox, yeah. Somebody's in I was the looking for something, like, symbolic about those animals, yeah. but a deer, an owl, and a fox don't really mean anything. Are you sure we're not still in Louisiana with all the taxidermy and fucking prescription well, I medications? Think a, I think it's trying to, like, <laughs> try to, like, give you that vibe. Yeah. And then, like, this right here, this Mother Miranda crap. Um, but it will very quickly not become that anymore. Yeah, clearly. And yeah. I think we have to find the rat, right? There's a rat in here. And you gotta be like, oh no, it's got blood on it, I'm scared. <gasps> rat. <laughs> we fought a giant fucking bug lady and a dude who, whom we hit with a fucking car and sliced with a chainsaw, and yet he still kept coming back and he turned into a hentai tentacle monster. But yeah... Let's be scared by the fucking generic rat. <gasps> the animal heads fell, and now its horn is broken. Oh, no. The rat must have did it. Yeah. Clearly the rat. <gasps> and the owl fell over. Everything's disheveled slightly. That fucking rat. It's a hell of a rat. Yeah, no shit. Um, I, so, I never beat Resident Evil 7 all the way. Yeah. However, I don't. I did like. I watched a lot of it, and sure. I, I went and looked at all the bosses and anything. And I still think that the bosses in this game, like in their final forms, look way cooler than all of the bosses in Resident Evil Seven. Yeah. Like the the Jack looked kind of fucked up at the very end, mm -hmm. but it, it's still nothing compared to like Ben Viento Baby Monster. You right. Know? But like, look at this. Look at this. It's, the sun came up in that time that we were. Downstairs. Yeah, you, it must have been like four or five in the morning. Like, and and, and we must have been in there for at least thirty minutes. Yep, something like that. Sure. And, and now it's it's snowy, and you probably didn't bring a jacket, you know, because you're a fucking no. Dumbass. Ethan's got that green jacket. Remember? Oh right, right. Like, it's the only thing he it's wears. Probably not even that. The the, thick. Qu the question is, is that why was Ethan wearing his green thick jacket at the dinner table when he was just like putting just the baby to bed and just chilling out with his wife? Yeah. That's the real question. Ah. Uh. Um, no, he, he seemed very prepared for an urban adventure. Always ready for bullshit yeah. after that. It's like, I married Mia. I am yeah. always ready for bullshit. I don't, I feel like it's more Ethan's problem than Mia's problem. I don't mm. know. I mean, they are very much, like, made for each other in the sense of they just keep yeah. getting into really stupid fucking situations. Well, here's, like, yeah, sure, you hear from Mia, you have correspondence with her, but at, at some point you have to acknowledge, it's like, this is a missing person. Yeah. And at one point... In the missing person's case, do you move on? Like, can you imagine just, uh... If, if Ethan had just given up, there would be no Resident Evil 7 or 8. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, oh, I didn't hear from her in a while. I got a letter that said that she was at this house in Louisiana. Pretty sure it's a prank caller. I called the police yeah. just to let them look into it, but hadn't heard anything this back. This isn't her handwriting. I'm pretty sure she's fucking dead. Yeah. I mean, we had a funeral, and I'm... See, the thing is that Ethan, like, definitely wouldn't... Oh, good, I've got all my stuff. Yes. Nice. Hold on, nothing else matters now. You have to kill something from far range with a sniper rifle. We've to got, we've got to organize. We've got to organize. Hold on. This is terrible. Yeah, nice briefcase. I love my briefcase. So, this game, as you can see, yeah. has Resident Evil 4's Inventory organization. System. Yeah. One thing it is missing that Resident Evil 4's had is this. The ability to combine. The, no, the ability to place something on top of something else and switch what you're uh, selecting. So, like, if I right, wanted to, right. if I had this here, and I was like, you know what, I'd rather this be here and move this over. Yeah. If this was right you would have to move four, that to an empty spot. I would spot. drag this over. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now you gotta move it. Yeah. You gotta fucking actually rearrange. So, you know. But overall, I like it. It's really nice. Let's, uh, make sure we're. Not really sure what I can expect. Wait a minute. Um, it wants me to go in here clearly because of the yellow. Maybe they're out. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But they what? left the pot on the stove, fucking so maybe they were fucking murdered, Ethan. Fucking Ethan. They really like that brand of flour. Oh yeah, it's the same one we have. Yeah, at home. it sure is. Wonder if. Uh, Mia brought that from here. You know, they, they never really established how far away your house is from the village, but they said that you're living in close proximity of it. Yes. So, and, and here's the other issue with that, is that this is somewhere... Eh? See the body? Yeah. 
this is somewhere that Chris um, put, like, Chris moved you and Mia here. Exactly. To be safe. To be closer to Mother Miranda and her fucking mutant children for yes. some fucking reason. Yes, because he is a moron. <laughs> I take back what I said about Chris being smart. Alright, so... <laughs> He's smarter than most. I know the goat heads, I think, are the right way to go. But... I know there's a house that collapses because of the story, like you have to drive a car through it, and there's a thing in yeah. that house that you can only get early on. So uh, look right. And in, uh, in, uh, that one girl... The who, girl and her dad. The girl and her dad. Yeah. And, and she's just like a fucking lost cause, but Ethan's like, damn it! I only met her a minute ago, but I could have saved her. Why do people keep dying? <laughs> you can't. You gotta open all the outhouses, but you can't open his outhouse. How, how do I do that? How do you open the outhouse? Can, can I, like, blow the snow up? Yeah. Is this a thing? I'll waste a landmine to figure it out. It's not really a waste. It's in the name of science. No. No. Shit. All right. Okay. That's the toughest shit house I've ever seen. Hmm. I want to shit in that. That's security. Hmm. Yeah. See, you ever I'll... used an outhouse? Like in real life? Yeah. Yes, I've used outhouses plenty of times. Not like a porta potty, but like an outhouse. Yeah, no, an outhouse. Out outhouse, outhouse. Okay. Yeah. No, my uh. My great grandmother, the one who had uh, fifteen daughters and lived on a farm. Oh, that sounds like somebody who would have an outhouse. Yeah. There was a number of outhouse. Well, not a number. There was two outhouses. That's a yeah. number. You would um, have to have more than one if you got fifteen fucking. That's kids. the thing. Yeah. When you have that many kids, you need a couple. Yeah. Uh, hello. Thank you. Yep. Who puts ammo like that in a birdcage? I don't know. Yeah. Here's a thing. What's going on in here? Oh, we've been here. All right, uh, I think we're set. I'm really worried for how much damage this first lichen is going to do on Village of Shadows difficulty. I'm going to oh, go ahead and yeah. tell you now. Mm -hmm. Because this game, like, on normal, it's fairly easy. Yeah. The hard one, like, hardcore mode, that was fairly a rough thing. Like, if I didn't have my infinite ammo shotgun, it would have been very difficult. But I did have it, so... Yeah. Anytime I really wanted to, I would just switch to my shotgun and conserve bullets for everything else. Mm -hmm. And I made sure to save all my magnum for the very end so I wouldn't have to dick around there too much. Oh, I never noticed the goat head. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, the goat head. fucking creepy. metal as shit. It's like, this would be the perfect place. I think this is where that, that where everybody, every black metal band goes to shoot all of their album covers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and all their promo shots and shit. Alright, and this is where it wants me to go. Can't open this because I don't have the iron key. Hello, chickens. I will eat you. I will eat you soon. With Duke's brand delicious village made mayonnaise. We get it, Eric. Duke is also the name of someone who makes mayonnaise. It's a mayonnaise. It's a good joke. <laughs> It's the best mayonnaise, Christopher. Is it? It's the best. I do not uh, Dukes, really eat mayonnaise. So. Dukes is the king of Mayonnaise Mountain. What? Who else is on Mayonnaise Mountain? Hellman's, uh, your store brands. Uh, Miracle Whip tries to be, but it's a fucking imposter and an abomination and an affront to mayonnaise lovers everywhere. My dad and his family always ate Miracle Whip on sandwiches instead here, here's, here's of Ethan instead of mayonnaise. Again. Did they just run out of the house? But they called it mayonnaise, and that fucking killed the shit out of me. It's like, hey, do you want mayonnaise on your sandwich when I was a kid? And I was like, yeah, I want mayonnaise on my sandwich. And then I taste it, and I was like, and it wasn't mayonnaise, this is was not it? mayonnaise. And then I look at the fucking jar, and it's like, Miracle Whip. And it's, it's clearly not mayonnaise. It's a sandwich spread, or they call it a dressing. What it is, is awful shit, and it doesn't belong in a fucking sandwich. Sure, put it in your fucking coleslaw, or make a, make a vinaigrette out of it or something. I don't fucking care. Don't call it a fucking mayonnaise and sandwich spread and put it on a goddamn sandwich because it doesn't fucking belong there. I'm very passionate about mayonnaise, this. Mayonnaise, you got a lot of attitude about mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise, a lot of attitude in this guy. <laughs> Oh, and here's the lady, right? With her. Oh, yep. Yep. There's yep. the lady and her lady dad. Lady and her dad. No, I'm friendly. 
Yeah, I'm friendly. <laughs> Shoot some anyway. Yeah. I'm sure that someone has said that. Sure you are, sir. Oh, no, this isn't the girl and her dad yet. Because the dad's injured. Oh, right. This is the guy who gives you the gun. Um, and he gets fucking sucked yeah, through the Yeah, I was about to say, roof. I'm about to get my finger bitten off, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very, very close to happening. I really wish this old man would have lived, though. I don't know. I think uh, the NPCs in these games work way better when they're not, like, around. Yeah. Like, I, I do... Something that Resident Evil uh, has always been really good at has been just, like, it'll show you a person... Well, not good at, but they've always done, is then, like, <laughs> they will show you a person, they'll have an interaction, and then the NPC will leave, and then you're alone again, and you have to continue going through the world. Like, yeah. that was kind of... It, it's very tonally inconsistent sometimes because mm -hmm. like shit will happen like in Resident Evil 4 like Ada will jump through a window and say a few lines very mysteriously and then like flashbang her way out yep. and then Leon's just like what the fuck was that? That's Ada for you. Yeah. I mean she's been doing that since 2. I kind of thought Ada was going to show up here. I thought so too. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. Um, I am, however, glad that we don't end the game in an Umbrella Research Laboratory. Yeah, that one got a little stale. Yeah. It sure did. Yeah, after doing it in literally every, every Resident Evil game. Every single fucking one of them. Um, and you do, like, I guess because of the, the Mother Miranda and Oswald Spencer stuff, like, it, Mother Miranda's lab kind of fits into that category, but not really. And it's definitely not, like, some super high-tech underground place where they're doing tests and shit on people. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just... No, they do all their fucking abnormal genetic testing above ground. Yeah, or, or in the dungeons for, of the castle. Good for them. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, um... Ah, you ever see uh, Underworld? Rough. Underworld? Yeah, Underworld. With uh, the girl? Kate in, Blanchett. In the black... Leather outfit? Yeah, that's the one. No, I didn't. I remember the poster. Oh, okay. Well, um, in Underworld, it's essentially vampires versus lichens, or werewolves. Okay. Uh, which is what these guys are. Uh, yes. Lichens. But their design is very close to... Um, Not taking any chances. One of the characters... One of the characters, I think I think his name was Michael. He uh, He's special, because of course... Okay. Because uh, he comes from like a common line of ancestry with vampires and lichens together. Uh -huh. uh, so at the end, he like becomes a hybrid of the two, and that's what these guys always reminded me of. Interesting is, is his like if you ever go back and watch Underworld, he looks exactly fucking like those things. Okay. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they draw, drew inspiration from Underworld and their uh, monster design. Because, I don't know if you saw that article. Did you write that article? Or did you somebody talking, you are, know write that article? Are you talking where about the one, the, the where one with the big the uh, propeller? The, the propeller guy, yeah. yeah they, they tended to, it seems like a lot of the monsters, as it, especially as it gets closer towards the end of the game, really do look like they came from that horror movie. Yeah. Um, which is not great. You know, like yeah. I, I, I hope that there aren't like concept artists and everybody. Like it's okay, it's fine to be inspired by something, right? But to flat out rip off something is another thing. Altogether. It really seemed like a flat out rip off of yeah. that particular yeah. uh, monster design. Yes, and yeah, I didn't really like that too much. Um, mm. Oh no! Oh no! It's Siege House time. This is this is gonna be when the when the lichens attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is another thing it it wanted us to do. It says if we could defeat like some number of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Nah. Because maybe because uh, difficulty. Hey. We'll see. Ah. Yeah, too close. Did you ever see Dead Alive? Yes. That's a good movie. Yes. Yeah. But that 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 reminds me of. Uh, that ah. propeller monster, you know, when the guy took the lawnmower and he just fucking pulls it up and yeah. lawnmower blades all the fucking zombies and shit. Uh, I'm not taking any chances. We should watch that movie. Bloop. It's a, it's a really good movie. It's one of the best zombie hey, movies. Hey, hey. Rude. Two grenade shots. Three grenade shots. Yo. Yo, I don't have bullets for this. No, you don't, fam. Oh, man, this isn't good. I mean, you have infinite ammo on the other uh, I do on the shotgun, but yeah. the shotgun, like, I, sh I used it twice, and it wasn't, like, a... Is it a no, it's is not, it really Ethan. solving the problem. It's nowhere near fucking Is over. it over? All right. What's your favorite zombie movie? 
Oh, that's really hard to say. Uh, the first episode of The Walking Dead is, a, is in, a really good one. In color or black and white? Oh, it is better in black it and white. It is better in But, black you know, and it's white. the same thing. It's, yeah. It, I, it changes nothing except the contrast. Like, yeah. Um, I do really, really like that. I also, I really like uh, just kind of like the, the old ones, like Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, all the Romero ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, See, I like the post Romero ones, which is like it's in the same continuum, but it's not Romero. Uh, like Return of the Living Dead Two mm-hmm. is really good, and I think we've talked about this before. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, what, the one that I really don't like, I think, as I get older, is the Zack Snyder Day of the Dead. Oh uh, yeah. I do not like that movie. Um, Land of the Dead was fucking worse. Is Land of the Dead the one where the zombies get smart enough to start using weapons and uh, the one with the the big the tower, the big bald zombie, and they like go around the through the water? They learn they can do that. Oh, maybe. What's the one with um, the big tower and the uh, mall and Dennis Hopper? Dennis Hopper, yeah. That was. I think that is the one you're talking about. The Day of the Dead remake. Okay, no, Dawn, Dawn of the Dead remake. It's the. The one that I'm talking about is the one with... Oh, this isn't the one with the mall. This is the one where they built the community yes. with the mall in it. Yes. Oh, okay. It's the gi- It's Dennis Hopper as, like, in charge of everybody, but he, like, sits at the top of the tower and yeah. won't let the poor people come up there and stuff. Yeah. That was Land of the Dead. Land of the Dead. Yeah. Okay. That was Land of the Dead. Get off my nuts. Zack Snyder just came out with another zombie movie. Yeah, I heard Army uh, of the Dead. Mixed things. Yeah, yeah, I heard mixed things about it too. I guarantee you, just the fact that Zack Snyder directed it is not enough to make me want to see it. If it, if it's not a if it doesn't have any superheroes in it, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, the a- the Snyder cut was very enjoyable to me anyway, but I'm a big fucking DC nerd. Yeah. You are. It, God damn it. It redeemed the Justice League in my eyes. And that's really all I wanted. I wanted the movie I felt like I deserved. But you don't deserve... Like, nobody deserves <laughs> a movie. <laughs> I'm entitled to it. Yeah. As a fan. Christopher. But you got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You No, no, you got it the first time. No, I didn't. Yeah, you, everybody <laughs> did. No. Nah. It was no. there. That movie was a steaming pile of shit. That, that, no! No! And it didn't need to exist. No! And Zack Snyder took it, he took that pile of shit, and he spun it into, not not gold, but a less precious metal. Well, like, most of the shit was also from when he was there, right? Like Yeah, but, like, the color palette was swapped, and <coughs> they added all that fucking shit with the Russian family that was stupid. And it was just... Joss Whedon fucked that movie apart. Like he just he, he, fu- he fucked that movie he apart. He fucked it apart. He really did. <laughs> uh, violent. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was a travesty. It really was. All right, I got this. You ready for this? Is this from long enough range to get? Probably the not. Try to him back there. Then there you go. Boom. Got him. Nice. Who else? Who else wants some? No, you can get farther away. No, he's not. Shit. Ah. Ah! Ah! I don't know if you're going to make it again, man. I got this. I have no doubt in your ability, but you're already on pretty low health. These ah. guys are fucking tough. It's all good. It's all good. This might do it. This That's, might kill it's, you. It's not. It's not gonna. Mm, you You look pretty dead. I'm, I'm Ethan Winters. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan can't die. Every game over in this game is bullshit. Just, <laughs> it's not canon. Ethan right. can't die. He's a mushroom man. I mean, just imagine, like, the enemies just biting, taking chunks out of Ethan and then, like, tripping balls like, <laughs> five minutes later. Well, they do say there is a part where, um, like, uh, the tall lady, like, takes a taste of Ethan's blood and is just like, oh, this one's already starting to go bad. Yeah. Um, and that's, like, another little hint. Yeah, it's and, like, oh, he's going through fucking rigor mortis because yeah. he's goddamn, he's been dead for... Three years. But then one of those sisters, like, also does it. He's like, oh, you don't taste so bad to me. Um, He's like a moldy cheese. Shit. You know? Like a Roquefort or a bleu. A bleu cheese. 
A bleaches. A bleaches. Which is better than ranch on hot wings. Which is a, a, a debate that a okay. lot of people on the internet have. No! Stop it! Oh, this is this is harder. Yeah. What do you prefer, ranch or blue cheese or no sauce? Or you just not eat hot wings? I mean, it's kind of more the latter, really. Sure. Like, I just, I have no uh, reason to, like, pump my body full of spicy things. Oh, sure, yeah. It, do it doesn't do anything for me. I think it makes the food taste worse, and I think it makes my butthole feel worse when I go poop. Okay, yeah. So I, I have, that. there's, like, no reason to do it. Uh, yeah. Overall, though, like, I do prefer the taste of ranch to blue cheese, and sure. if I'm going to dip something. Yeah, okay. But blue cheese is really good, too, and I it has love, its place. Yeah, like, I love blue, blue cheese. Blue cheese is fantastic. Yeah. Like, one of my favorite salads is, like, a blue wedge salad, where it's, like, they just... They take the, the, the romaine heart and they fucking wedge it in half, and then they throw your red onions and your tomato and your blue cheese and your bacon all over it. That's... That's just to die for. My favorite salad is a Caesar salad. I do like a Caesar salad. Caesar salad's very good. Good Caesar salad. What is all this redness? I think oh, you are... They, are they shooting flaming arrows? You are dying. <laughs> well, I know that. It's over there. Somebody's shooting flaming arrows. It looks like something's sure. on fire, so they might be. But how are they able to get it through that fucking gate? I don't know. I found a good spot, though. He seemed to be a little confused by oh, the... Oh, it's... Uh, no, he's uh, he's behind the trees. Eh, That's what's eh, going on. Eh, eh. Dick. Right in the dick. Ah. Dick shots really should do more damage. Because they do psychologically. I mean. Woo! Woo! Alright, we're gonna... Barricade! Barri nope, it's not... Nope, 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 god Oh no, damn it. it's over. Uh. You been fungused. Defungused. Alright. Well... That was Resident Evil Village. Yeah, vi Village of, uh... Was vi it Terror Village, Village of Monstars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Games with dogs!